Yali, the Young African Leaders of Africa, Cohort 50. Yale Cohort 50 embarked on an industrial trip to visit Mufflis, one of the rising exporter and grower of vegetables in Ghana, located in the Volta region of Ghana. Ho. This industrial tour was to enable the participants learn, grow, and know the market of export. That Africa, we can also do it. We can grow our vegetables, we can grow our crop, following specific standards and penetrate into the export market. This is a company that has a vision to be an industrial leader in the production and supply of high quality food and industrial products in Africa, working together with smallholder farmers to meet the needs of worldwide consumers and other relevant stakeholders in the value chain of agriculture. And with the mission to adapt a market-driven approach in the production and supply of high-quality food and industrial products to the market in a partnership that is productive enough to eliminate sustainable farmers from poverty into emerging commercial farmers. So physically, we do um, vegetables, variety of vegetables for export. We do sweet potatoes yeah. and we do yam. A bit rice for famously for essence, but sometimes we do sell at a shop right, um, uh, KFC and then a uh, Chinese mosh. So, do, do here are your the two you said you say you do rice, and yes, a bit of rice. And the, is it specialty rice or the normal rice? Yeah, the normal rice. Okay. Okay. So, let us and how many are you here? It starts. Yes. Uh, we have uh, 40 national service personnel mm -hmm. and uh, 58 permanent staffs. Oh, wow. So, uh, so about 100. Yes. And then you take yes. in uh, casual staff. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, casual, you can take up to how many? Uh, roughly close to 40. 40. Yes. So, we are present of about 140. Stuff. Yes. 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 So, if you can own our tag is this. Yes. Not on so, I think uh, the rule you use. No, we have two main sections or departments. We have the greenhouse and that of the open food. So, we do. So, these are our rejects. They don't meet the, uh, the market standards, but they don't just go uh, free like that. So, we are, uh, we will slice, dry them. Minimum of uh, uh, minimum moisture content of uh, I think seven to ten. Then we process it into potato flour for pizza, for um, bread, all the bakery stuff. Yes. Yes. But let's say then we do. It's not small though, but it's yeah, yeah, like the grading. So, what is the grading rate for it? It's depending on the market we are uh, importing to. I do it in base on. Uh, exporting to. Okay, base on. Uh, the winter. Yes, so sometimes the, 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 the quality of the flesh and then uh, sometimes to uh, the goods. The uh, tuber. So, uh, depending on how heavy it is, if it is too small, it is rejected. And if it is too heavy, too easy. So, they, they need a specific weight of. I think that's the so it doesn't mean that it. it is called rejected. Yeah, it becomes uh, a rejected product. So we process it. Oh, he was asking the please. Can you ask a question? <laughs> first, I uh, first ask the question to know how do they normal uh, grade the sweet potato? And so I was I was answering him by saying that depending on the country you are. Uh, exporting to and then also the market it is going the uh, so we have like when we are doing the sorting 
uh, we look at the sizes. So specifically, they will give you uh, a specific range of the weight. So if a fiber does not meet that standard, it is rejected. Then we process it into this. So this this is what it's like you are processing this flour flour into a uh, orange flesh sweet potato flour. So after the, the sorting and the grading, yes. the rejected ones, we wash them. Okay. So we'll get rid of the smaller uh, particles that might attach to it after the event synthesis circuit. Okay. Then yeah. after washing, then we slice the, you use the slice, the yeah, we slice, then we dry. Okay. So after drying, then we mail it. Okay. okay, that's all. Yes, okay. No additional. No. Yes, please. We we do, but uh, what helps us so much is that for the greenhouse, uh, we cultivate all year round. Okay. So anytime our customers are in, we yeah. are able to supply. But for the uh, the open food, especially where we don't have the drip, the drip system is not able to uh, cover all the 1,900 acres that we have at the open field. Uh, so, so we have a limited kind of how system. Many open, uh, how many open field acres do you have? We have about close to 1,900 acres. Yeah. 1,900. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in terms of the cost mm -hmm. of cultivation, the open and the green field, are they the same? Or they may vary. Uh, for for the uh, greenhouse, uh, I was I would say specifically that we don't use some of the let's say the fertilizer at the open food. We might uh, we can use some of the fertilizers, but at the greenhouse we don't. Let's say the granular. But when uh, at the, at the uh, greenhouse we use the oh, the liquid. So comparing that to like, I think the greenhouse is higher. higher. Okay. So it's not necessarily organic. Not necessarily, but we have organic. Yes. We plow with uh, powder. Okay. Yes. So, but you don't sell them as organic. Not, yes. Sure, for instance. We have uh, some of the fields are purely. This but some fields we do uh, a kind of integrated. Oh, to the next day, but it's dissolved well. Yeah. If it is, let's say, um, surface, which can easily di uh, dissolve in yeah. some one hour, it makes it easily and then it pours. It. So you pour and then you discharge the water. Yeah, but then before we do that, we, use, we normally check pH and BC. Mm. These are the mm, most important It's really easy. Some people don't have okay. So this is electron connectivity. We want to know if the plant is able to absorb the nutrients in the medium. We don't use soil in the greenhouse. Yeah. We have cocoa pits. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to find out if the, the, the plant is able to absorb that nutrient. Then the pH is acidity mm. of the medium. So if it is too much acidic, let's say below 7.5 downwards there, then we have to flash. So flashing we only need normal water to go to the medium for like a day or two to check the EC again. Then you know what to do, depending on the stage of the crop. That that so if this was in the greenhouse, we would have been giving, let's say, first potassium. So are you listening? We get, and we know what potassium is for. Yeah. So when we transplant, okay, potassium uh, normally would develop on it. But in the greenhouse, we give potassium for the first time because, uh, you know, it's just medium without any nutrients so once the plant develop roots first and also yes yeah, yeah, okay. for the strong stem then uh when we transplant i was talking about transplant and we transplant first week we wait for one week then we give mpk or you give a uh, mono ammonia as starter solution then from there we continue with other uh, nutrients as and when it uh, that uh, the, this tomato uh, for you to apply the fertilizer, right? So if you, you say 
at this stage, you don't know the number of roots, right? So you can you give you a range? Um, mm-hmm. Do I have my planting? Mm-hmm. 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 This is just about two weeks. Uh-huh. Okay. So with this one, for the first one week, as I said, we give MPT, mm-hmm. the starter solution, or the mono ammonia. So when you give for the first one week, you wait till uh, it's just about a month, and then you give the soft. Okay. Yeah. So depending on also the variety of the treatments, yeah. 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 sometimes vary. Okay. Let me say yeah. most times they don't vary because mm-hmm. getting seeds do come with the treatment. A lot was learned. An eye opening for Yale Cohort 50, the coding cohort, to go out there in our various country to start farming as a business, knowing that the future of farming, the future of agriculture is bright. Because of uh, the transport one disease from the so you dress or you properly dress here. Sometimes you disinfect yourself uh, with uh, disinfectant or we have uh, uh, detergents that is detergent in it. This year, disinfectants that are supposed to spray. Then you open. I don't have this close. You open. Then you now you start from here. Oh, okay. So with some, with, with some time like that. Okay, you wait a little. You start hearing some sounds. Then the water is dropping directly to the root zones uh, or the stem of the, the, the plants. That is how we do our fertigation. Oh, yeah. But then when the need comes that you do point right. application, it says we do that, but not every time. That is where maybe you have to, uh, let me say, replace a diseased plant and then you have to be giving it its nutrients as and when needed. Or maybe we are having a test experiment for someone. You know, people normally send plastics that, oh, please do this experiment for me. So we go by that treatment. So we don't let's get through this one. We do it by points application. Uh, onion, cabbage, uh, sweet pepper. We do Chinese opo. One we call uh, yeah. yeah, we do suya here. Um, we do cucumber too. We have uh, cherry tomatoes to eat. Um, we have uh, spring onion. This is the time to change the narrative of agriculture through African young leaders. And Yali is doing exactly that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit on the subscription button, follow, and also comment in the comment section. <laughs> I believe in Africa. I believe in Africa. I believe.